Hi, in our today's video, we are talking about coordinate bond. In coordinate bond, there is sharing of electrons. Coordinate bond is formed between two atoms as usual. In coordinate bond, one atom acts as a donor atom and the other atom acts as an acceptor atom. Moreover, in coordinate bond, there is sharing of a pair of electron. This donor atom share a pair of electron with the acceptor atom. As a result, a bond is formed and that bond is called as coordinate bond. What is the coordinate bond? A coordinate bond is a type of alternate covalent bond that is formed by sharing of an electron pair from a single atom. Both shared electrons are donated by the same atom. It is also called a dative bond or a dipolar bond. Coordinate covalent bond are usually formed in reactions that involve two non-metals such as a hydrogen atom or during bond formation between metal ions and ligands. So here you can see coordinate bond can be observed in different type of atoms. That's why coordinate bond is very diverse and it plays an important role in coordination chemistry also. What are the conditions for coordinate bond? As we discussed earlier, there are two atoms involved in the formation of coordinate bond. One of them acts as a donor atom and the other acts as an acceptor atom. The octet of donor atom should be complete and it has at least one lone pair, non-bonding pair, which is denotable. Then, acceptor atom should have deficiency of at least one lone pair of electron. So here, there are two conditions that donor atom should have a complete octet, eight electron should be there. And on the other hand, the acceptor atom should have deficiency of one lone pair or two electrons in order to complete its octet. Now, what is lone pair here? Lone pairs are non-bonding electrons that are present in any atom. Here, we have some characteristics of coordinate bond. In this type of bonding, the atom that shows an electron pair from itself is termed as the donor. The other atom which accepts these sheer pair of electrons is known as acceptor. The bond is represented with an arrow like this pointing towards the acceptor from the donor atom. After sharing of electron pair, each atom gets stability. And this is the reason why this bond is formed. Everything in this universe wants to get stable. That's why atoms react with each other. They share, they donate, they transfer their electrons with the other atom in order to get stable. Getting a good understanding of continent covalent bonds can help in properly designing complex organic molecules. As I said earlier, coordinate bonds and the understanding of coordinate bond is very important as it helps us to understand the coordination chemistry later on in a very good way. Here, this is general mechanism how coordinate bond is formed. This is atom number one and this is atom number two. Atom number one will act as a donor atom and atom number two two will act as an acceptor atom. As you can see here, atom number one is fulfilling the condition of having eight electrons in its valence shell. On the other hand, atom number two is also fulfilling the condition of an acceptor atom because it has deficiency of a pair of electron here. Now, what will happen here? This atom number one will share its pair of electron with this atom number two because both of them are sharing a pair of electron. They both have now a complete octet. There are eight electrons in the valence shell of atom number one and there are eight electrons in the valence shell of atom number two. As a result, a bond is formed and that bond is called as a coordinate bond. The molecule is called as the covalent molecule here. Having said that, here, we have a very famous example of coordinate bond, which is between NH3 and BF3. The atomic number of nitrogen is 7. The electronic configuration is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, and 2p3. In the valence shell of nitrogen, there are 5 electrons. 2 here, 1. Now, what about these 3 hydrogens? These 3 hydrogens will make a bond here, just like this. Now, here we can observe that these two electrons are not occupied anymore. So they will act as a donatable shared electrons. On the other hand, we have BF3. The atomic number of boron is five here. The electronic configuration is one is two, 
2s2 and 2b1 here. In the valence shell of boron, we have three electrons. This is the ground state of the atom boron and this is the excited state that we have. Now, what will happen here? These three fluorines will make a bond here, as you can see. And now you can observe very clearly here that this boron trifluoride has deficiency of two electrons here. So of course, boron trifluoride will act as acceptor atom as its octet is not complete. It is deficient with two electrons, a pair of electrons. And on the other hand, this NH3 will act as a donor because it has a complete octet. Now you can see here we have NH3 with these two electrons here. And here we have BF3. Now count the electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight electrons are there in the valence shell of nitrogen. Complete octet, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six electrons are there in the valence shell of boron. Now what will happen here? This NH3 will share these two electrons with this empty orbital of boron here. And ultimately, there is formation of a bond. And that bond is called as a coordinate bond. And it will look something like this. So a bond is formed at the end here. And this bond is called as a coordinate bond. Now here, we have some other examples. The first one is formation of ammonia boron trifluoride. As we discussed earlier, the nitrogen atom in the ammonia donates one pair of electrons to the vacant orbital of the boron atom in the boron trifluoride. Thus, nitrogen atom is the donor atom and the boron atom is the acceptor there. Now you can see here how a coordinate bond is formed here. The second example we have is formation of ammonium ion, NH4 positive. In NH4 positive, we observe coordinate bond. The nitrogen atom in ammonia donates its electron pair to the empty orbital of the hydrogen ions. Thus, nitrogen is the donor, hydrogen is the acceptor, and the coordinate bond is formed. Now we have NH3 here, pair of electrons here. Moreover, here we have H positive. Now, what is meaning of H positive here? As we already know, hydrogen has just one electron in its outermost shell. Now they're saying it's H positive. Now hydrogen is acting as a cation. That means hydrogen donates its one electron. Hydrogen, now hydrogen has an empty orbital. We have hydrogen positive here. It has shareable, donatable pair of electrons here. And this hydrogen has an empty orbital here. This pair of electron will be shared with this empty orbital. And as a result of sharing, there is a formation of a bond and that bond is called as a coordinate covalent bond or simply a coordinate bond. So this is how ammonium ion is formed. By moving on, we have another example, which is formation of hydronium ion. An oxygen atom in water donates its one pair of electrons to the vacant orbital of the hydrogen ion. Thus, a dative bond is formed. Oxygen atom is the donor atom and the hydrogen is the acceptor atom. We have structure of water here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight electrons here. As we know, oxygen has two lone pairs, two non-bonding pairs. Now here, we have a cation of hydrogen atom. What does that mean? That hydrogen has an empty orbital. So now what will happen here? A one pair of electron will be shared with this empty orbital of cation of hydrogen. And as a result of this sharing, a bond is formed and that bond is called as coordinate covalent bond. And we will observe a hydronium ion there. This is how hydronium ion look like. Now it's time to conclude our today's lecture. In today's lecture, we talk about coordinate bond. Coordinate bond is all about sharing of a pair of electrons. In coordinate bond, two types of atoms are involved. One act as the donor atom and the other act as acceptor atom. The acceptor atom should have one empty orbital so that it can accept a pair of electron. Donor atom should have a complete octet. It should have eight electrons so that it can donate a shareable electron. Here, this atom is actually not donating the electron. 
it's just sharing a donatable pair of electron so as a result we have a bond and that bond is called as coordinate bond so yes this is all about our today's lecture if you want to learn more please do subscribe this channel thank you very much